Hello everyone, my name is Ankush. I am CEO and founder of LearnMed Technologies Private Limited. Today I am here with one of the mock interview of my student Abhishek here. He is having three years of experience but with the different technology and he want to pursue his career into the Oracle DBA. And currently is taking a training with us. The training is not completed but still we just thought to take some mock interviews so that we can check his confidence and we'll see like how much he is able to do the answer for Oracle database. But again, like if you guys want to be the part of this Oracle DB training, you can reach out to the Lernomet and let's enjoy this podcast related to the Oracle DB. Let's talk about the backup first. Okay. So tell me what is hot backup? What is cold backup? The hot backup is when uh, the database is uh, currently in the running state. We mm. take the backup. So we call that backup as a hot backup. And when the database is uh, down or it is in mount stage, we, when the, the backup we take, it is called cold backup. So which backup is consistent backup? Uh, hot backup is for consistent backup. Achha. What do you think guys? Which backup is consistent backup? Cold backup mm. is consistent, consistent. backup. Why it is consistent? Because that time your database is down. And hot backup means when your transactions are running and you are taking the backup also. That is inconsistent backup. Let's say I want to take the backup of table. Which backup I will take? With the EXPDP, IMPDP, we take the tables backup. IMPDP also used uh, to take the backup? No, IMPDP, we restore the backup. We can use to restore, restore the backup. backup. Now let's say I have one schema is there under that schema. I have few objects are there, but I don't want to take the backup of few objects. I want to take the backup of complete schema with some object. What should I do? Sir, uh, we can exclude the other objects uh, with the exclude utility. Sir. Mm. And then we can take the backup of uh, required tables uh, with that, uh, with that XPDP command. Okay. Let's say I want to move a file from one Linux server to another Linux server. Which utility you are going to use? Sir, we use SCP command. Uh, SCP command. Let's say I want to take the backup of only structure of the table. How to do that? Means you understood the question, right? Yes, sir. I don't want data. What you are going to do? Okay. Let's say I have I have one schema is there or table is there. If I restore that backup, the empty table will be getting created. How? What is the name? Remap. Remap? No, no, sir. Uh, Content. Content equals to? Content is metadata. What is Content equals to? Metadata meta meta only. Metadata only. It will take the backup of only uh, metadata. Meta data. And other thing is? Uh, data. Data only. Okay. Let's say I want to take the backup of table, but specific record backup I want to do. So, sir, we have to specify the means record. Like? Uh, we have to take the record. We have to write the means query. Like. Consider a situation I have a country table. Under that country table, I have a data related to the India, China, <laughs> USA. I want to export only USA. Which parameter you are going to use? Sir, I don't remember. Which one? Tell me. I don't have to say There is a parameter called query parameter. In query, we use that filter condition. Do you remember? Yes, sir. Where, where clause we used, right? Yes. Where country name equals to whatever you want to do. We discuss, na? Yes. What is my problem? 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 Student. Student. Don't say student. You're right. Be specific. Yes. <laughs> Okay, next. So consider a situation. A situation pe lete okay. okay. Now I got the issue like my export job is you know performing very slow. I want to increase the performance of my export job. What you will do? Sir, we use parallel uh, clause in that in mm. the expdp command. Mm. Like parallel equals to four. So it will create four uh, paths to uh, export the data. Yeah, yeah, answer thoda uh, se bolo. Sir, we will create uh, uh, Parallel path. Uh, so parallel path. Uh, there is a parameter called parallel. parallel yes, sir. Uh, equals to? Equals to. Uh, three, four, three, whatever four, you want. Whatever we give. So it will create three paths. So uh, the data. It will create three paths. Uh, no, sir. It will uh, means uh, export the uh, imp, export the data through. Um, th uh, means uh, the number three of paths. Three worker path. processes will three. be getting created. Three. It will take the job parallelly. Parallelly. It will not create three files. It can create multiple files okay. also. Let's say I feel like, you know, my dump file size is getting very huge. I want to split that dump into the 1 GB. What will do? Uh, Which parameter? Here, file size. We file size equals to, to uh, 1 three, GB you are going GB. to mean. Yes. 
you are going to mean okay now same question i'll ask the same question like let's say my database is running okay and you deleted the data file whether your database will be running or not it will be running sir it will be running okay say does database does not require uh, data file uh, it requires data file okay but sir uh, instance will still be running only if we have to uh, uh, see the data means then only we need the data files mm. uh, so we, the instance still it will be still be running but we cannot uh, access the data uh, stored in that uh, storage from the storage but storage contain the data file na yes and data file is missing the checkpoint details will be going into the control file okay. as well as data file every after few second yes. right and that time data file is not there so it will create a problem sp file is a different this scenario sp file like we don't require because sp file data is coming into the memory, memory. Yeah. but data file data cannot come into the memory it is coming but all the data is not coming who is responsible to create your execution plan optimizer sir optimizer and what is that method we call like when yes. it is choosing the best execution plan uh, statistics statistics is helping to create a best execution plan but that method we called it as a cbo method yes sir what is that yeah. cost based optimization cost based optimization optimization what is soft parsing hard parsing uh, soft parsing is uh, no new plan is created mm. it will uh, choose, it the choose the already existing existing plan, plan only that is called soft parsing. soft parsing and hard parsing uh, a new plan is created for the execution so which one is better for the performance uh, of database for performance it is uh, soft parsing is better sir soft uh, parsing is better as it requires uh, no new plan to be created so if i if i restart my database instance do we have data available in the memory like in your shared buffer or your library cache or in database buffer cache let's say i have some data is available in the shared buffer if i restart the instance what will happen i didn't understand like uh, let's say i have few data available in the shared buffer that is a copy okay. of the data which is coming from data files yes, if i restart the instance shut down start it start does that shared buffer or database buffer cache will have a memory will have a data no sir it will uh, like uh, first it is a part of memory na so yes. anything which is available in the memory, memory. is it permanent uh, no sir it is not permanent so it will not be there not be there it will not be there right what, tell me about the log writer db writer sir uh, log writer it uh, writes the online read log buffer uh, to this log uh, read log uh, buffer in the read log files Uh, read log buffer say read log log files files means. okay and the db writer it writes uh, the data from the database buffer cache to database files data files which block dirty uh, block dirty block dirty block will be written written okay so log writer will come first or db writer will come first sir first db writer will come acha kon na ega pahile log writer will come first okay and then db db writer let's take a example my users are not able to connect to the database where is the issue the users are mm -hmm. not able to connect Connect. to the database where is the, the issue? listener may not be connected to the instance server. the listener may not registered with the registered. databases yes. what is the default port number default for uh, 1521 and default name uh, listener what are those two important files uh, listener dot ora and tns names dot and what is their location uh, slash network slash admin network and admin admin location let's say i want to change the port number how will you do that uh, with uh, static uh, listener we can change to 152 or another port static listener why we need uh, means the uh, net say utility net or you can directly do that call that let's say consider a situation everyone is able to connect one person is not able to connect what is the problem uh, maybe the user has not entered correct password okay correct password is also entered then uh maybe he is not registered with his system is not registered with the listener or the listener is on server level na okay. so it's not specific to the user hmm then if i create a user can he connect to the database directly no sir uh, we need uh, the tns uh, tns names.ora file in his uh, sir uh, in his uh, system okay. so so that he can connect to the hmm. database next uh, and uh, the listener.ora should be uh, with the in the server uh, server level okay uh, that will be there yeah. na that uh. everyone is able to connect only one person is not able to connect if i create a user by default user will not be able to connect to the database, database. we need to provide him uh, access which access uh, this uh, konsa in uh, 
కంటైనర్ లెవెల్ అని క్రియేట్ సెషన్ పర్మిషన్ క్రియేట్ సెషన్ పర్మిషన్ దెన్ యు కెన్ కనెక్ట్ టు ద డేటాబేస్ yes maybe he is making some issue or maybe he is not using the correct service name also in tns name that ora there is a chances right so that's the way like you know you you need to identify the issue see so anyone is not if no one is able to connect listener issue if single person is not able to connect there is some issue with the tns name dot ora or maybe his password issue or you can check his permissions, permissions also sir. okay so that's all about the basic of uh, you know oracle dba mock interview uh, we are going to continue this again to the next level like we are going to discuss about the data guard patching upgradation all these things also in the next slot so be ready for that okay one thing confidence should be on top level yes. communication should be good okay knowledge thoda idhar udhar hua to bhi chalta hai but for as a dba because since you guys are directly getting connected to the customers when you get the p1 issue p2 issue you people will be directly reach out to the customer so what he is saying and what you are saying you should be able to understand each other yes. right so communication confidence is the key even after you enter as a oracle db okay so mostly you will have a client coming from us uk if they are a indian like you will understand it very easily but if someone is coming from uk side the slant will be different okay so you should understand it and what you are saying that should be also understand by that person then and only then wo oh, communication shaadi ka joda chalega nahi to phir so that's the reason i'm saying like 2025 is a diwali not happy diwali क्योंकि अभी तक हमारे पास में क्या नहीं है जॉब नहीं जॉब नहीं टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी सिक्स शुड बी यूर हैप्पी दिवाली एंड सेंड मी द विशेष इन टू टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी सिक्स सेइंग लाइक नाउ आई गॉट सिलेक्टेड इन टू दिस कंपनी विद दिस पैकेज देन आई विल से लाइक ओके दिस इज अप्पी दिवाली ओके गेटिंग अंडरस्टूड यू फील इट गुड ओके